It is Saturday, September 24th, which is a very important day in our <laughs> lives because it is our anniversary. <laughs> it is our anniversary. So 26 years. Yep. Right? And so that's uh, pretty amazing. More than a quarter century together. I can't believe we made it this long. <laughs> I can't believe you still keep banging around. <laughs> Got a few things done this week, but most importantly, we actually did a taste testing. Just want to thank you, Fig Hunter, for sen sending us some figs. These are actually, the figs we tried are unknown varieties, as far as he's able to tell. Yes. It's kind of plain. Really sweet. I mean, it's got a nice solid sweetness to it mm -hmm. though. Mm -hmm. They did good on picking these ripe. Yeah. Not a very strong flavor either. Mm -hmm. Very mild flavor. Mm -hmm. This one is this one. Morning Star. Almost like all of them taste very similar. So far, such a mild flavor to them. Yeah, this one almost has no flavor. Yeah. Mm -mm. That's raspberry, for sure. Ooh, I like this that one. That one's really good. This is this is a tree that I would buy, right yeah, here. Yeah, that's really really good. This is a tree that I would buy. That was a, that's a really good one. And Jolly Rancher is a good name for that. That is. Because it's very sweet. Mm-hmm. Nice. Thumbs up on that. That was a good one. Yeah. So you can see a lot of variation in flavor. A lot of them tasted very similar, but it was really cool to find that Jolly Rancher, which was really, that was, really good. Yeah, that was really good. September is also fertilizing month. Yes. So we've taken the whole month this time, <laughs> maybe even in October, depending on the weather. Yeah, this week I got thrown off because of the rain. We had several days of rain. Well, yeah, we actually had some measurable rain, yeah. in fact, right? How much did we get, wind up getting the other day? A half an inch. Half an inch of rain. On so one day. Yeah. In one day, which for us is a lot. May yeah. not sound a lot to you guys out there in more temperate climates, but for us, that's a lot of rain. Yeah. I think that brings our total up to just under seven inches. Still a little bit lower than normal for us, but uh, better than we've had all so far since we've been here. Yeah. One thing we did had to do today was finally move our nuggets into their normal rotation.
It actually wasn't as bad as last year. So we kept most of them inside the tractor this time. We had a few stragglers that yeah, got out from underneath, out, yeah. that got out. And then all we did was basically just put some feed down in order for them to basically go over to that feed. It was real easy for us to scoop each one of those up and get them back into the tractor <laughs> with the rest of the guys. I yeah. guess it's a good thing they're so food focused, right? Yeah. Just like kind of the rest of us human beings. <laughs> <laughs> This is where we had pigs season before last. All of the area that you see around me here is where we were growing out some of our squashes here. In the spring, we have our triple crown blackberry that we planted here in, I believe it was either the fall or the spring. You can see that it's actually trailing on the ground, which it does for the first season. But more importantly, what I wanted to show you is what's underneath the canopy that this has been creating. just incredible how much fungal activity we have on these wood chips underneath this particular blackberry bush. These are completely different types of fungus that I'm not normally used to seeing here on the farm. I have no idea what it is, but I know that the fungal dominated compost and the breaking down of these wood chips is exactly what we want for things like our blackberry plants. Now we don't really know for sure what our plans are for this area and this particular triple crown blackberry does fantastic for us. So to see this and to see the incredible growth is pretty exciting. Now I'd mentioned there are other types of fungus that we're seeing here, some very nice, beautiful mushrooms that we have growing in this area that has been getting all of the moisture and this thick layer of wood chips with the sorghum breaking down below, you can tell is just a very, very rich environment for all of this beneficial life that we're starting to see. I don't know about you guys, but I get pretty excited about seeing something like this here in the middle of the desert. One of the things that we've been working on since we first arrived on the property just under three years ago is establishing this pasture. Our broiler chickens behind us, obviously that is food for ourselves and we also raise enough so that we can sell some. So it's part of our cash flow here on the farm. 
as we continue to grow the farm and move on to further sections of the farm, we're making sure that we're still building soil back here in zone one. And that's one of the ways that we're doing it is these burlers you see behind us here. What we'll be doing over the next four weeks is moving these each and every day. You guys will see that as you follow us along, laying a nice fresh layer of manure down on this pasture as we overseed it for the winter and have a wonderful pasture for our laying hens and our pet turkeys. So one of the things that we are always focused on here is building soil. And the reason why we do that is because studies have shown that the higher the organic matter in the soil, the less irrigation that you're actually gonna need. So for us here in Arizona, being in a desert, it's critical for us. So we're always focused on that. You saw a lot of that here today, I think. So we just picked these from our Prime Arc Blackberry. That's been in the ground for what? Right at two years now, right? Mm -hmm. We got a wonderful harvest off of that this spring, and you've got some nice, big, beautiful yeah. blackberries here. I say we share this one. Okay. Here, I'm gonna give you that half. Oh, wow. That seems that... about even. <laughs> That's real fair. <laughs> I thought so too. See how it Mmm. Glad that plane's coming over. My really good. pretty tart. Yeah, I got a little bit of tart, not as much sweet. It's kind of bland. Mm -hmm. compared to how the spring ones are. So we have these wonderful loofahs that are giving us shade here right now. It's amazing how well these grow all summer long. Yeah. They stunted a little bit midsummer, but I think the monsoon seasons and that cooler weather, they're really liking it. We also have wine to make today. Oh yeah. What kind of wine are we making today, sweetheart? We are doing our Cabernet. Ooh, it's gonna be fun to get that done. It's our last batch of wine for the season. Yeah. All right, so we have blackberry, we have mulberry, we have peach, we have watermelon, we have Syrah, we have Zinfandel, Zinfandel and now we have Cabernet. So we got- That are all gonna be fermenting at the same they're time. They're all fermenting at the same time. More <laughs> fermenters are on the way. Yeah. <laughs> so just wanna thank you guys for joining us today. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. We cover a lot of things here on this newly established functioning farm in the Arizona desert, but would love to see you as a subscriber. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comment section down below and our Amazon shop. I'll leave a link down in the description. That is a free, painless way to help support the channel. If you start with the link down below, it doesn't matter what you buy. You help to support us here. So just want to thank you for joining us today and remind you, if we can farm on the edge of nowhere. So can you. Mm-hmm. That was adorable. <laughs> Ooh, did you just sniff my neck? No. <laughs> can you try that again? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Oh, okay, that's, that's not very sexy. <laughs> All I got was this like a puppy dog. You asked me to sniff your neck. <laughs> Ooh, I, got, I got a straight, four, straight up 405. That is... I hate that freeway. Today we have our last round of farm share pickups, so we'll have some of those. Hey guys. Shouldn't say that. Don't say that. Take it all back. <laughs> you know you're a farmer when you get Poop, on poop you. all over your shirt and you don't blink an eye. You just keep going. <laughs> These are destemmed. So how many pounds of Cabernet grapes did we have come out of the freezer last night? Um it was 70 pounds. So I'm gonna uh, let you, you know, go ahead and I was, answer that. <laughs> I was gonna say 70, but then I was like, was it? I started doubting myself. I'm yeah. like, that seems like it's high. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to ask you again? This is totally <laughs> legit. If you want. Yeah. 
So how many pounds of uh, Cabernet grapes did we have last night? We had 70 pounds of oh, grapes. <laughs> wow, I'm glad you remembered that. <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances I'm trying to wrap up? Hi, this is Lori. Yes, uh, do you have mature chickens for sale? Uh, no, we don't sell any live chickens. Okay, thank okay. you. Bye-bye. Uh -huh, Bye. Out of all the questions that we get, how often do we sell something being a farm? Maybe one out of a hundred? <laughs> <laughs> it's usually information. Yeah. So, glad that plane keeps flying over us. That's gotta yeah. be the FBI. They're like totally into the farm. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty, that's gotta be, yeah. that's totally legit. That's totally legit. So just wanna thank you for joining us today and remind you if we can farm on the edge of nowhere. So can you. Mm -hmm. Let's show that one more time. My hands were up, your hands were up, all kinds of stuff was weird. My hands weren't up, were they? Were they? I thought, I don't I know. I just said, mm. so can you. So can you. Ooh, you need to do it that way. No.